learn bachelor's in Spanish language. And I spoke with the team in India and they suggested me to do graduate diploma in flight management outside Auckland. Would you suggest me? And uh, wh what will be the scope of work after completion of this course? My IELTS score was six overall. Obviously, you know, my team would have probably already given you some advice, but you are asking me for my advice. I'll give my advice. My advice is why is somebody like you who's done a bachelor's in language? You obviously have an interest in, uh, you know, uh, Spanish language. Otherwise, why would you do a three years course in uh, Spanish language? But then it looks like you're now opting to do something in management. So uh, I don't know, unless you've decided that there isn't a lot of scope for Spanish language. And I'll be honest with you, man, there may not, may not be a lot of scope for you in Spanish language here in New Zealand as well, because I have personally not come across a lot of uh, uh, requirement uh, for you know Spanish language related kind of uh, 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 options uh, opportunities here in New Zealand there is a lot of uh, uh, Filipino migration that's happening to New Zealand at the moment so probably there is some element of work to be uh, figured out in terms of uh, translation bureaus and so on and so forth but it could be very narrow and might be too too narrow and probably that is the reason my team decided to suggest to you instead uh, something in management where you could possibly join a company which has got some dealings with the Spanish speaking world and so obviously your uh, course in management uh, along with your background in Spanish could be a very very potent competition I mean it could be like crazy as a you know because I'm sure there are uh, some companies in New Zealand who are exporting to Spanish speaking countries and, and I mean we are a massive uh, export uh, oriented country anyway so we export tons of stuff you know we export um, uh, wines meats fruits uh, uh, all kind you know wool products and timber and all kinds of things are going and i'm sure there's a lot of interaction happening with uh, spanish speaking countries like maybe the philippines or you know spain itself or so many other south american countries so so probably that is the reason my team recommended doing a, a course in management because Trying to do something only in Spanish might be so narrow that if you after you finish and come out of that narrow channel and you don't find that uh, job in that very narrow channel, uh, you might kind of uh, fail in your efforts. But if you're doing something wider, like management, for instance, uh, there is a very, very good chance that because it's much wider in terms of the opportunity scale, you might be able to pick something in admin or sales and marketing or uh, you know finance or so on and so forth, all the different aspects of uh, management. So that's probably the reason my team uh, recommended this to you. Uh, but I, I mean, see, these guys speak exactly like me, you know, because uh, we are all, we are different people, but it's the same uh, collective mind that is working inside AJB. So, you know, that's one thing that you should look at. So I think they also recommended a graduate diploma in applied management outside Auckland because you would get a higher uh, a number of uh, uh, days and uh, year of uh, post-study work without that's obviously the reason they have recommended that and um, your IELTS score is six overall uh, which is good that will uh, uh, help you to get into a graduate diploma what is the scope of the completion of the work of this course uh, a lot of our students who are doing uh, courses in management whether it's a graduate diploma or postgraduate diploma or masters are finding work and it is directly related to your uh, attitude your skill and knowledge but just from the way you have written your um, uh, you know your query your English is good I don't see any uh, spelling mistakes in that and and also you know somebody who's done something in uh, who specifically went and did a course in Spanish language is you know somebody with a very different mindset it's not often you come across people uh, you know young people like you from India who go and do something in Spanish language which is brilliant I mean so hats off to the fact that you're definitely not one of those people who is uh, part of the herd uh, and you kind of try to create your own pathway and now of course you want to create an opportunity in New Zealand and because of that my team is trying to recommend you something that is not too narrow but a lot wider so that your opportunity scale uh, is wider and within that uh, wider opportunity scale it's also the fact that you have a massive asset like your Spanish language so overall looks good and by the end of the day you're also working with AJU which is fantastic.